How do I discern the voice of God? Well, let me just say, discerning the voice of God is so much easier than we think it is. Many times we read in the Old Testament about Samuel who heard the voice of God three times and thought it was a priest and then ran to him and found out later, actually, it's the Lord speaking to you. And sometimes we expect God to speak in this big audible voice. But what's beautiful is it also shares in the Old Testament about how when Elijah was looking for the voice of God, he heard a storm, he heard a tornado come, he heard great wind, but in each thing it was not the voice of God. And in the end it says he was in a still small voice. So the first thing I want to say is if you're seeking to hear the Lord, one, be still. It's important that in Psalms, I believe it says, be still and know that I am God. Sometimes we just have to take out the noise and be still. Next, I want to let you know the Lord is going to direct you through desire and peace. In Psalms 37, it talks about delight yourself in the Lord, and then He gives you the desires of your heart. I believe that giving of your desires is not fulfilling your desires, but He literally places His desire in your heart so that the things that you have a desire towards are actually from Him. And then the next thing I want to let you know is that in Colossians 3.15, it says, let the peace of God rule in your heart. That when you have a desire from the Lord, He not only gives you that desire, but then He leads you by His peace. So let His peace rule in your heart.